Good evening, actors and creatives. <sighs> so I'm talking to you because this means it's a post-acting coaching session reflection diary entry. Um, so today, the last couple of days, I've been doing um, coaching sessions for One Self Tape, which was a pretty big and important tape for my client. And it's really impressive, my client, this particular client's um, attitude to all her self-tapes, that she has um, moulded her life to do this. Um, she started out a little bit later. There's no age limit on when you can become an actor. Um, and yeah, she, she got a little team together today to do her self-tape. There was myself as the coach. She got in another, act, in another actor. Um, we did some improv. And it really felt like a team working together rather than we are here passively as a reader to help you do your self-tape. It felt like we gave um, flesh and life to the story. We, we treated it as a project rather than a job to get, a tape to get right. And I really feel that is key. It made me think about the two types of clients I generally have, because I have two sets of types of clients. I have the clients, the actors that are working with me quite consistently, or working in other classes quite consistently, but they're regularly working on their craft in whatever way. Um, these types of clients, they, they are learning, they're stretching, they're developing, they're, the, the craft might be uncomfortable sometimes, it's not always pleasurable when you're growing, but they're also having fun in the process. That they're seeing the benefit of the consistent practice. And then these type of clients that when we get into a situation where like this, we do a self tape or a, even a film or a scene together where I'm involved more as a director with a coach's eye. These clients come really prepared with their own ideas but they're willing to be directable. The other type of client that I have is the one they really want it. They really want to do well, but they don't consistently practice. It's not that these clients are not as talented as the other type of client that consistently practices, but it's like talent really is a skill. It's a skill that can be trained like anything, you know. I just started re-exercising about nine, nine, ten months ago again. I'd let, I have to say, I'd let the muscles go weak. Um, I'm starting to see the benefit of it. You know, the moment I take a few days off though, I get a bit loose and I, I don't feel as good, I don't feel as fit. Do you know what? Acting is just the same principles, but a lot of actors don't seem to apply this. Um, so yeah, this, this other type of client that I refer to, let's call them client B, is that they tend to book a session when that tape comes in and they really want to get it right and they're like, oh, this is the tape, this is the one I really want. and booking a session from that place what i tend to find is that we're the first half of the session is spent talking them or coaching them out of their nerves and their doubt that the first part of the session is spent on that and then yes we usually end up with a tape that they're happy with but there is always so much more that they could have done 
then again that's client a as well you know the other the, the other client that i talked about the ones that consistently practice as well um like today's session with the client we we did about there was two scenes and we did um we did six takes um and i had a message to say oh i should have done it colder you know and this is the thing this is an artist you have to be willing to always develop further stretch further and um not for stretching further's sake but i th i feel that that is just an artist that the more the deeper you go the more you see so that will always be there but when it comes from a place of groundedness in the training it's very different there's not as much anxiety there as the oh my gosh the, these auditions come in i've got to impress my agent what do they want how should i do it and then that client as well is usually doubtful and questioning um, in the session um, questions the direction is not sure if that's the way they want it and just that comes out of their lack of faith in their own craft.